Greetings, 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 greetings. Let me um waiting for folks to load in. I hope people came on tonight. People moving a little slow. Let me uh, stop this recording and start back over again. Mm. I'm trying to uh, <laughs> find a way to okay, pause it. All right. All right. Green, green, greens. Hopefully. I know that Coach Joe got family going on. And it's nine o'clock. I have a my, my uh, midterms going on this week. So I have a few things going on myself. <laughs> because I have a few things going on this, this week, I definitely don't want to be on a call all night long. But it's not about me, it's about you. But I'm just being honest about hey, I got a couple things do I got tests to take. Just got back in town from Oklahoma, where I was a part of the internship, uh, quote unquote, internship. It really was all online. And now it's like, hey, you had to go there for eight days, called it entrepreneurship. And it was at Oklahoma State, had a great, fantastic time. And I'm looking at two screens because I got to let people in as we as I'm going. So forgive me for looking off. I hope I'm unmuted. Let me make sure I'm unmuted. And you can hear me. So um, tonight, we'd like to just give you a, a real quick glance of what we're doing. But those who are new to us and that have not been with us before, we're investing now, real estate, uh, investing now 2021, a real estate company with an online coaching program that teach you two controllable retirement strategies, right? Um, for investors of all levels, we would like to help you in the market today. That's our goal. Our goal is basically very simple. We understand that people literally go to college, go get their master's degree, graduate, and start their first job, and they're excited about their job, and they sign all these documents, and they don't know what these documents are saying. Most times, those documents are saying that you have a deferred tax program. We got matching. We got all this stuff going on, but we're going to defer your taxes so that you don't pay tax on this dollar, and dollars we can 20, 30, 40 years down the road. All right, again, for those who own, I got to look at two different screens. So what we're doing is we're trying to help you with a controllable strategy to combat job uncertainty, right? Finance uncertainties, right? And with that, if you can control and put a method in place that you can avoid penalties just in case you get sick, just in case your loved one gets sick and you got to pay for doctor bills. And all of a sudden you say, I got my retirement account, but I'm not 59 and a half. If I pull that money out, I have to pay penalties and, and a lot of taxation on that money. But if you have this strategy that we use, that we teach and that we coach you on and we mentor you on and that we really believe in that works because we've done it repetitively over and over again. And it worked for us like, hey, why well, keep this to ourselves? Let's help the next person out. So that's why we're doing this. We want you to be able to draw your money when you want to without being taxed and penalized. We want you to make a cash flow every month. And as well as we want to help you to have a controllable retirement strategy, not one that says, hey, you work 30 years, you're only getting $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month. And oh yeah, you get taxed on that money. Right? How about this? Let's start now, today. Invest now, grow your future. And let's move forward with a plan and power that we know how much we're going to make based off of what we do. I, me, what I did, but what we did, right? That's what we want. So inspire, motivate, encourage, I, me. That's what we want to do. So, coach, I don't know if you got control of the chat. Let me make you coach because uh, um, I can't let folks in. I got two screens. I keep looking off. I don't want to keep looking off, so I'm going to make you co-host. And I'm going to, if you're able to speak, let me know. Raise your hand or something so I can unmute you. Well, if you co-host, I guess you can unmute yourself. <laughs> All right. Let me stop sharing this screen. This is my book for elementary kids, for babies, for toddlers. Um, I just had a son. He's two years old. And I said, hey, I would like to learn. I would like him to learn the alphabets to my words. So that's what I did. I created this book. Um, it teaches about goal setting. You know, that's one of the most important things. 
got in cursive writing there, corn recognition, sight words. Um, and then it got a storyline that goes all the way through it from the beginning to the end. So um, that's my elementary baby book um, to give back. If I'm going to teach my son alphabets, why not teach the world, right? So that's what the mindset was with that. Hey, Coach, you got anything you want to share with us about the market before I get started, man? I don't want to hold you up. I know you got a lot going on with your family as well. Right? Don't see you getting in. So let me go and get started then. All right. I'm Coach T. Williams. Uh, we're going to talk about why real estate. I pretty much already gave you the spiel on it, but I'm going to show you what our program do for you. So right now we provide step-by-step -step real estate coaching program for you to help you create a retirement strategy or retirement strategies, right? It's two of them. One, we teach you to start finding a product. So it's OJT, on a job training, where we say, hey, do these steps. We're going to help you through these steps. Do these steps. Get paid money. So learn then earn some money and then return back once you get great at doing one of those strategies, right? So learn, earn, and return is our method that we want to help other folks to get into real estate. Um, learn by practicing and making some money, right? Really simple, too easy. I try to put it out there so that, hey, just in case I get sidetracked, you got the information anyway. Um, here's our small agendas real quick. It's not going to be long. It's all about you. We want to help you. If you want to get on my call for a complimentary coaching call, Totally free, 15 minutes. Um, I'm supposed to did that only for the month of uh, January. It went over to February. It looked like it's bleeding over to March, but I'm going to start back putting my audio book so people can at least get my audio book um, so they kind of know more about me before they get on a call with me and they can make a more wise decision, right? Um, but that's pretty much the agenda. I'm not going to bore you by speaking that, uh, spelling it out. I do have the link there if you want to go to investingnow2021.com if you would like to just book a call with me right away. And let me look in the chat box and see if Coach is going to mute. Give me a few. All right. Got gotcha, you, Coach. Just uh, raise your hand or, or time in. All right. So, boom. All right. Again, didn't try to do all the fancy stuff. This is a PDF. I live in the country. My internet don't work that well. So, <laughs> I have to go ahead and do this. And I probably need to put this screen off because I'll probably be lagging, right? If not, it is what it is. Uh, let me make sure I have anybody in the chat. In the weight room? Nobody's in the weight room. All right. Good. I'm good to go. All right. Hopefully y'all can see my screen and see everything I'm sharing. Make sure y'all share, sharing my screen. It's, let me stop sharing and reshare to make sure I'm sharing. It'd be nothing like me over here talking. You can't see what I'm talking about. All right, booyah. Boom, boom, boom. All right, gotcha. All right, let's get at it. So we teach you uh, how to find deals. Um, most of our buyers need rental properties. They want rental properties, right? Um, I want more rental properties. Coach want more rental properties. And a lot of people I know just do not have time to find rental properties. So what we try and teach you to do is go out there and find the deals. We have the zip codes. We have the buying, the buying box. It's called buy box. It's like, hey, what do our buyers want? They want 1,200 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, right? Three bedroom, two bath, 1,200 square feet in certain zip codes. We already know what they want, right? They either want some that's, hey, I, they broken down, busted up, and need to be gutted out. Some of them, hey, I want lipstick on a pig. We call it lipstick on a pig is when you go out there and do a paint job, do a little wall work, and some other things. Okay. Oh, wow. That took a little while for y'all to see that screen. It just popped up in the periphery. And then we have some people that saying they don't want to do any work. They just want the house turnkey. It's very nice. All I have to do is go in there and change the locks and switch it out. Now, of course, once it busted up and disgusted, those are very cheap and affordable and discounted, right? We give them a great deal. Once it's like mediocre, hey, you know, you get so so a deal unless you're a bad person like Coach Joe that know how to talk those people down to a real feasible price, right? Coach Williams, I don't talk them down to a low, low, low price. I keep it where it's comfortable for both of us. They feel like they won. I feel like I won. And I ain't saying they don't feel like they won't coach, but coach definitely know how to negotiate better than I do. That's just me being a good man saying that coach got negotiation skills down pack, right? That's all I'm saying. Not saying that he mess over anybody. He does a great job and he know how to articulate why his why he's buying it for that price. Whereas I don't have as much time to do that. So I have to get it when I say, hey, this is the number I buy it for, and they agree on it, we go with it. And I don't hit that that low, low, low number. That's something I need to work on, getting better at, at saying a number that's embarrassing. 
because that's how my mentor taught my mentor taught me, right? Carton Sheets. He said, if you don't say a number that's embarrassing that you feel embarrassed to say, then you you offer too much, right? So that's something I, that's a hump I got to get over. I'm admitting that in front of you, right? And then you got the ones that, hey, turnkey. Turnkey is most likely going to be a pre foreclosure. The house is not distressed, the person distressed. They have an issue, they can't pay the bills or they got too many mortgages. Now, when we say people can't pay bills, we all know that COVID-19 caused a couple of issues for everyone. One, it laid a lot of people off work. These people was great professionals. They were great at what they did. They was living in the, within their means. But if you get laid off work, you're only a few months away from being in trouble. That's what happened. Not bad people, great people, just the situation change. With that situation change, you have people like myself and Coach Joe, that can come and save the day and let those people have a bailout, a bailout by we taking over the mortgage subject to the existing loan and rent that property out to somebody else or standing there ourselves. I'm looking for a house right now in Louisiana that I plan on doing subject to. I don't know if I'm going to stay there for a long period of time. I may end up moving to Virginia. I may end up moving back to North Carolina. Therefore, I do not want to commit to buying a house right now. I will commit to taking over a house subject to the existing loan and living in it for a little while, while I get somebody else's mortgage up, while I pay somebody else's bill, while I correct somebody else's credit. That's what I want to do. I want to help them. So I'm looking for a home right now in the Keithville area. Um, I think that's a 7147 zip code, I want to say, um, or the 71119, 711-18 in Louisiana. I'm looking for areas right there, right? So I'm just throwing it out there. You can wholesale me a property right off the bat, pre foreclosures. Now, um, quick cash profits. Now, this is the most important thing. Some people need money that they just won't, hey, I don't have money to start investing in real estate. I don't have knowledge to invest in real estate. So that's why you want to partner with somebody like myself and Coach Joe, because what we're going to do is we're going to teach you what you need to do Walk you through it so you can get some quick cash. That's a wholesale. Wholesale a property. Basically, hey, you go find a property, you put it in a contract, and you make your terms if you put it in a contract. If you're not knowledgeable enough to put it in a contract, we ask you to go find the property, refer the property over, and get a referral fee. Do that a few times. Then get comfortable where you don't mind writing a contract. Totally understand when you say the word contract, you start thinking about lawyers, you start thinking about courts, you start thinking about, is this legal? I get it, right? When I first did it, I had the same feelings. However, comma, right? After doing it so many times, you learn that it's just a piece of paper. You're going to do what you say you're going to do. So why does it matter? And when I tell you, if you get used to signing a book that thick, whenever you keep on buying houses and refinancing houses and closing on houses... That book is about that thick, your hand hurt, but you get so used to just making your new signature, right, on each page. So that's what we want you to have, that same problem with your hand hurt from signing paperwork. So that's a quick fix, right, a quick, quick flip, right? You get some cash right now, you get that money, and you keep on getting that money, and then you buy your first rental with that money. Right, money class for cash flow. If you have a rental property, what you want to do is either two things. You may have a problem that you're making so much money that you're paying Uncle Sam a lot of money on taxes. If you have that problem, then you may not want cash flow. You may want an asset that going to be able to cover itself, right? Just break even over time and build an equity and build an equity. All right, let me break that down a little bit more. I'm using very, very easy, simple terms. I do not like tripping you up using amortization and using all these different fancy words that we talk in the finance world. The way I talk to uh, my, my accountant, the way I talk to my loan officer, the way I talk to my attorney will not be the same way I talk to a mentee. It's no reason to until you get to that level, right? So let's talk about cash flow. Again, if you're making a lot of money on your W-2 job, you've got a real good income. You owe Uncle Sam a lot of money. We say, and what I practice personally, let's create an LLC. It's going to be in debt. It's not going to make any money. You're going to have a problem over here. This, this LLC, a LLC is basically doing business as, basically. Not a legal term for it, but that's basically what it is. You have all the tax privileges. You have all the benefits of a business. However, 
you're still the 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 person that's saying that hey, I promise that if anything go wrong with this LLC, you coming after me at the end of the day, right? So he's just really doing business ass or sole proprietary. In certain states, it's sole proprietary. Certain states, it's LLC, and it's almost simultaneously. But if you LLC, you get all of the legal uh, tax benefits. That's the part. Making a lot of money on my W four. I got a great job, make a lot of money. Just started my LLC, and everybody know you have five years to report a loss with a brand new LLC. Five years. That's that's hey, you can't get in business. They do great. So now you're going to take these losses over here. When you have losses, you have deductions. When you have deductions, you just say you just have 30% per deduction. Wow. How do I save myself 30% per production? That's awesome, right? I can do this. This is legal. Yes. If you go buy pens, if you go buy paper, if you're buying stuff for your LLC, you setting your LLC up, right? That's all expenses. Those expenses are 30% deduction, and you take that off of top. So if you made a hundred grand in your business, you got 30% deduction. That's a use the easy way, 30% off the bat. That means you only can report 70,000. Right? Do that sound sexy or not? All right. You take 30% off of a hundred thousand, that's 70,000. That's your taxable income. You got more deductions, you keep going down, down, down. And everybody wonder how businesses. Don't get taxed like everybody else. That's how they don't. Do you still pay some taxes? Yes, you still gonna have some kind of tax in there. You're gonna have either some personal taxes because when you're working as a business, and I'm not a I'm not a CPA, I am in school for accounting, but I'm not a CPA and I haven't taken no tests. I don't plan on taking it. I don't even like accounting. I got my final to take this week. I mean a midterm to take this week. However, comma, um, that's where we at with that. And that's how that works. So you have W4, you're making good money. You're taking a loss over here. It helps you out to have that loss. You may break even. You may not be paying any tax. It's going to balance out. Again, you get your CPA. They help you out with that strategy. You do got to amortize. You do got to keep good records. And guess what? Because I read so many books, I have systems in place to help you out with keeping good records. Not only a little spreadsheet, not only QuickBooks, not only all these online softwares, but we'll show you a simple file folder way where you have 10 folders that you stick your receipts in. Boom, 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 boom. Gotcha, right? So that's what we'll talk about for about some people. And now some people like cash flow. They want money now. So I don't have a W-4 job. I am i don't have a job. I, I only want to do real estate investing. So now you want cash flow. You want to start off saying, hey, me, when I first started, if I made $50 more, if you can pay my dog on cell phone bill from this one house, I'm winning, right? Let me practice and learn how to do this. But if I can get my cell phone paid from this one house every month, I'm winning. I'm not saying that you have to go that low. You can get more money than that. Oh, you know what? Why don't you pay my car note every month? Every time somebody pay their, their renter, they rent, right? It pays my car note. As long as the insurance, taxes, mortgage is covered, a little bit back for reserve, just in case something happens, right? Hard times, somebody move out. If I have that cushion right there and I got a little bit more over that that can pay my whole car note, then great, right? We'll start off with stuff like that. Hey, let's get my utility. Let's buy another house, get all the utilities paid. I'm making enough of that. Again, this is cash flow now. Some people may say that's pennies, but I'm teaching you a way to get OPM, other people money, to pay for your way of life, your lifestyle. That's what we're teaching you. If you can get other people pay your lifestyle and pay the bills you are paying for, then your money can go into more investments of buying more properties, of, of putting it in the stock market, uh, buying crypto, or buying a business. Your personal money can go into doing other investments so you can have multiple streams of income and they all coming back to you once you retire. Once you retire. We're doing this so that when we retire, we don't have to say got to live on a set check. I need to pay my house off. I need to pay my car off. I can't buy a new car. At retirement? Oh, wow. That's that long-term growth method, right? So listen to me real clear. I'm going to use a couple terms that bankers use. When you buy a property, it's got to amortize. The loan got to amortize. So you buy a property for 100 grand. 
every month you pay, so much go towards the bank, so much go towards the principal, right? The principal is the bank paying your interest. The principal is your money toward down paying the house. The first 18 years, unfortunately, mostly go towards the bank. They make most of the money. Oh, I froze. All right. <laughs> Let me turn my... um. Oh, it's already off. All right, cool. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Test, test. My um, coach, you can still hear me? Yeah, my mic going up and down. Hopefully, you can. All right. I stay in the country. Sorry about that. So, if you have a house and you paid a hundred grand for it every month, every month the tenants pay that mortgage. So much go towards the the doggone bank, which is the interest, and so much go towards the principal. It's amortizing down. At the same time, the cost of living is raising. Since the cost of living is raising, that means a property you paid 100 grand for 15 years down the road is going to be worth probably maybe 125, maybe 150. Now, it amortized starting at 100,000. So, if 100,000 is paid down to 18 years and you get down to 75, I mean, in 18 years, I say you're about 50, you're about 50 percent done. So, you may be about at um, let's say it's down to 60,000 in 18 years because you got a 30 year mortgage on that. Let's say you got 30 year mortgage, right? So it's down like 60 grand, but the house is now worth 150 grand. Do you see how you just gain so much equity? That's word called equity, right? Any money within that price from the amount you have on your principal that you owe to the amount that the house is valued at this time, that's equity. That's your money. If you start investing now and you wait 20, if you keep waiting, you keep putting money off. But if you start now, 18 years down the road, you got a whole lot of equity that you pull out. If you don't plan on retiring for 20 years, that's 20 years of equity just built up. And if you buy in a real nice neighborhood, your house is going to appraise for a lot more in 20 years. Hopefully that made sense. And then I already kind of hit the tax benefits, right? Um, I kind of said the tax benefits and all this stuff is hyperlinked so you can learn more about it if you want this PowerPoint. Yep, they are hyperlinked. Okay, cool. So the thing about it is if tax benefits, basically, hey, you get tax deduction, you get that 30% tax write-off on certain things that you buy for your business. And that's a game changer, a game changer. Again, you go to my website if you want to book a call with me and I would love to sit down and make sure you have a good understanding. Could you repeat what is equity? Equity is the amount of money between the, what the house is valued, right? The ARV and amount that's owed on the house, the principal. So if you bought a house for $100,000, paid down for 18 years, you may be about right at $60,000 because most of the money went towards interest. I know that's a long time. It seemed like a long time, but at the 18 year mark, if you did a 30 year mortgage, now everything you pay is going towards principal and you'll pay that thing off in the next 15 years, 13, 18 years. If you keep on paying it that way, if you pay more, you pay it out faster. However, that $60,000 to that $150,000, that's equity in the property. You can do a home equity line of credit, which is called a HELOC and take that money and use that money to buy more properties. Or you can use that money to pay for a surgery for somebody. Or you can use that money to create a line of credit so that your family can live off of. And every time the tenant pay rent, they will pay that line of credit back off, pay it back down. And the difference between a line of credit and a loan is a loan have a dual uh, period of time that you're paying that you have to pay it off. A line of credit is, hey, only the money that you borrow, you have to pay back. And you're only paying interest on the amount that you borrow. And you want to pay compound interest on the amount you borrow, right? So if I got $150,000 available for me and I only spend $50,000, I want to pay an interest and the compounding is only $50,000. That's it. And as long as I'm paying that $50,000 back or I'm paying more on the $50,000 back, then that's the only part that I'm paying on, right? Actually, I think I just misspoke. It's simple interest. It's not even compounding interest. It's simple. But it is a compounding effect because... If you have a debt that you didn't, you only paying a minimum on, that debt is going to keep growing because it's going to keep on adding on to what that 50 grand was. So you're still going to hurt yourself in the long run. So you always try and pay the max amount back or more, right? When you use a line of credit. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me go to the next one. 
that's gonna hold y'all and that loan I gave you the that's really the big spear right there. So we have opportunity for you. We have opportunity to help you out. We have an opportunity to lead you and show you what to do so you can run away from the problems. You retire, you will be recession proof, right? Right? Because every year the cost of living go up, you get to go up on your rent. Right. And because you're going up on your rent, basically you're ahead of everyone. So it's three ways of losing uh, real estate. I'm not going to stay on this slide that much, but if you write a check and you, you can't afford, that's one way to lose. Just like I just told you, somebody doing COVID-19 had a great job. They had, they had the money right then to afford it, but also they lost their job and then they got laid off. What have you, they can't afford it no more. So you can lose like that. And when I say lose, you can lose your house. You can do a short sale and probably losing the equity and take advantage. Of, uh, you can't take advantage of the opportunity, but because you know folks like myself and Coach Joe, we will take over that mortgage and you can still win by getting out and then we'll save your credit as we work on it doing subject two. Um, you know, this method right here that I'm using, that I'm talking about right here, this is about, hey, don't take debt on your own. Take over somebody else's debt. This is our subject two spill. Right. So you want to take over somebody else's existing loan and keep paying it down. Right. So you don't want to get loans, your personal name. You want to pay it down from them. Right? So that's all this is really saying. Again, this is those are ways to keep you from losing in real estate is by taking over other people's houses, subject to the existing loan and paying their debt down instead of putting your name. All right. That's really all that's in a nutshell. Um, now, what if I tell you that you can be happy? All right, every day you work, right? You don't feel stressed out because you're not a workaholic, but you are a workaholic because you're working for yourself and you're doing stuff that you love to do every day. You're not doing stuff that you don't love to do, right? So you, you don't feel like a workaholic because you do what you love to do. It's a different feeling, right? Uh, people without a mission do not understand missionaries, right? I'm on a mission to help as many people to meet financial security because I'm tired of hearing people saying that they retire and own a budget. I want folks to retire and say, I, I don't have to worry about a budget. I have unlimited multiple streams of income coming in and I can do what I want to do when I retire. I can live my very best life. I can travel. I can buy new cars. I can go to football games at the, NF, at the um, NFL plays, the NBA games. I can, I can buy season tickets. I can, I can bring my family, like my extended family, to games. I can rent a booth out. That's what I want to do for anybody that works with me. I hope that's the lifestyle that they get at their retirement age. Does that happen overnight? It does. It takes you working hard, being a workaholic, doing what you love to do, but it's not stressing you out because you love to do it, right? It takes that type of tenacity to get to that point, right? You don't need a lot, a lot, a lot of education, but you got to continue to learn. You don't need a lot, a lot of education. You just need to do the same thing over and over again once you figure out how to do it. That's really it. Now, you do want to keep educating yourself if you're going to be an entrepreneur because you got to stay ahead of the game and you got to stay with the game. You got to stay ahead of the game and with the game. The game keeps changing. Here we got Chat GPT now changing the game. So as the game change, if you don't change with the game, you become a dinosaur. And we know what happened to dinosaurs. They extinct. So we don't want to get extinct. This uh, this thing it was really, uh, the color is like really light and really dark. So I'm going to hit this really fast, right? You got two ways of learning anything. You can try and go YouTube it all day long. You can try and do it yourself and run into a, a wall and run into hiccups and keep on learning from your mistakes. Or you could pick a coach, a mentor, and have somebody train you. And this is Ron LeGrunt saying right here, right? This is Ron LeGrunt saying right here. If you think education is an expense, try ignorance, <laughs> right? I got that from Ron LeGrant. I do a pay for his program. I love him. He's a good mentor. And I know several men that have went through his program and said he's he's awesome. So um, definitely want to echo what Ron LeGrant to say, right, about that. So if you want to learn the hard way, go ahead. We, we wish you well. Um, start by looking for great deals and referring them over to us as you learn so you can still make some money while you learn. Right. We're we're currently investing in three mark. We have five markets, um, Louisiana, Chicago, Virginia, North Carolina and Texas. And actually, we got Georgia on there as well. So we got a few markets out there. 
Um, more than that, but those are the main ones I know that I will buy in right now. All right. Almost to the end. Ain't that many more slides left. Uh, lucky for you, you know us. We have a wholesaling blueprint called our five-figure formula. We hope everybody to make 10 grand a month, basically. Five figures is 10 grand a month based off of wholesaling, just that one strategy. You could make 10 grand a month every month. Would that change your life? Would that change your life? Give me a thumbs up if that would change your life. If you can make a pass, an extra, not no passive because you got to work for it, uh, extra 10 grand a month, right? For the next few months, for the next few, hell, however long you do it, right? Um, that's what we want to teach you to do, right? We want you to stop changing, trading your time for money. After a while, after you make so much money, we want to teach you skill set so you can have more rentals. Thanks for the thumbs up. So you can have more rentals. So with the money you make from wholesaling, we want you to start buying your rental properties and fixing on those properties. Those are the two strategies that we, we teach you, right? First, you wholesale to make the money, use OPM money to buy the property, use OPM money to work on the property. You're not getting any loans until you refinance. And now you got a loan in your name. However, the tenants, you get a cash out refinance and you get all that cash back out that you put in the property. How sexy do that sound? You mean to tell me, Coach T, I can work with you, find deals, get paid. After I get paid, I can go and buy a rental property with that money. I could then work on that rental property because I'm still getting paid from wholesaling. And I can wholesale with anybody, not just Coach T and Coach Joe, with anybody and get paid. And when you get paid, you can work on that property with OPM, other people money. After that property is fixed and, and somebody renting it and living in it, rehab, that we call it rehab, then you can go to the bank and refinance. And once you refinance, you can do a cash out refinance from the difference between what the equity in the property held. So the bank basically says, hey, you bought this house for $30,000. You put $30,000 in it. You only got all in 60,000 cash. It's my house. I don't need you bank, but I would love to get along with you. If you give me a hundred grand for this property. So the bank give you a loan for a hundred grand, $1,000. The loan is $1,000. We all know that a loan of $1,000 rent for one, I mean, $100,000, I'm sorry, $100,000 a loan for $100,000 rent by the 1% rule for $1,000 a month. If you get on any computer and pull up a, a home calculator and you put $100,000 in there, nine times out of 10 for taxes, insurance, and rent, it's going to be all the $700 to $800, right? Even with the interest rate this high, let's say it's, let's say it's $850, just because the interest rate is ridiculous, right? Let's say that, $850. You're renting out for one thousand dollars. You still cash flow. You still got money coming in that you can put in, in into the bank, right? And hold off. Now check this out. You can do a, a line of credit, a cash out, cash out line of uh, loan or better. I'm sorry, a cash out when you, you do that. If you do a cash out, the equity between the bank only want to keep thirty percent. Let's say the bank want to keep thirty percent, and thirty percent of a hundred thousand dollars. Is basically, hey, you had $70,000. That's your money. You only put 60 in. You can get $10,000 back in your pocket. You can get $10,000 back in your pocket. Minus closing costs and everything, because you got to refinance. You got to do all that. And you, you, and you ain't got to come to the bank with closing costs because you already got the property. They can put that inside the loan. So that's what we're saying about you can make 10 grand easily. And that's a simple example. A simple example, example based off of you buying a house for $30,000, you put $30,000 worth work into the property. The house is now worth $100,000. You're getting it rented out for $1,000 a month. It covers your taxes. It covers your insurance. It covers the mortgage. The difference between that is how much money you put in your pocket, but you don't have to just put a loan there. You can do a cash out refinance. A cash out refinance means whatever the difference in the equity and the property that the bank want to hold and the equity that, and the principal that you have, that you put in, that's your money. That's your cash. And then you use that 10 grand to go buy you another property. Put that as a down payment on another property. Guys, this is so sexy.
All right, that's learn, earn, and return right there in one nutshell. So if you was interested in doing both of those methods at one time or learning both of those methods at one time, that's our fix or flip blueprint, right? Either you're going to fix it and keep it for yourself by burn it, buy it, rehab it, rent it out, refinance and repeat. I already got ahead of myself and told you that. Right. That's what burn mean. And wholesaling is when you flip it, you just flip it over to somebody else. You write a contract and you flip that contract over somebody else and you get paid. And until you get comfortable writing contracts, then you do referrals. You can refer the deals over to us. We close on a deal. We pay you a referral fee. So you got three ways of making money right off the bat. Either you refer the deal to somebody else by taking a picture of that house, plus the house right beside it and write an address down. Again, you can get referred money, referred money by Taking a picture of the subject property, taking a picture of the house on the left, taking a picture of the house on the right, write down an address and text it over to us, email it over to us, send it over to us, however you get it. <laughs> and if you do that, we know who it came from. We close on that property. You can get a referral fee. After you get comfortable doing it a couple of times, OJT, finding great deals and referring them out, then we will start teaching you how to write the contract up and get it signed by the seller. You get it signed by the seller, then now you can dictate your terms. You tell us, hey, I got this on a contract for this amount, and we will work with you if that number makes sense. If that number makes sense. So that's what it is. Now, if you decide to keep the property, right? Now you got to source funds, which we got people that would do refinance for you. And then you got to figure out, hey, how to do this work on this property. We got a step-by-step -step spreadsheet that works amazing, work amazing. And not only does it work amazing, because Joe got the current prices on Amazon, Lowe's, all the different little hardware stores that you probably can find and click on a link and pull up in your area and pull up in your area. Got a spreadsheet with hyperlinks in it for all the material you're going to need to remodel your house. It's actually got the whole diagram for who you pay, when you pay, and how you know they completed it and when you should pay. It's beautiful. It's it's awesome. I have software on my computer that does it, but we do have a spreadsheet for those who don't want to pay for a software. Now, I'm not going to go over this too depth because I, I really hit it hard on everything else, but I'm going to try and uh, hopefully I can zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, I can't zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. Let's see. Shoot. All right. Well, this says $78,000. Right. And what my price? I bought it for 30. I think they said 3380 or something like that. 3350. I bought it for 3350. But when I refinance, when I get the value later on, once I fixed it up, it was worth 78000 Right. This is from Carter Federal Credit Union. This is a bank. I blew, uh, I got a renter in that house. So I blew, uh, you know, I, I definitely wanted to block her name, their names, who I bought it from. And the people that live, I mean, you know, the address. So you won't be looking it up. Here's the scope of work that I had in place. All right. Here's the scope of work that I had placed on um, the give the people to do bids on what I want done. That way I told them what I want them to look at and they tell me what to do. You know, it's just a little quick rehab. What's on, um, what's the house conditions? Uh, what's the overall, what a project is, it's a burnout, blah, 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 four bedrooms, one bath. I change it to a three bed, um, Four bedrooms, two and a half, one, one and a half baths. Right. So I remodeled that, gutted it completely out. Bought it for like 3350, I want to say. 3350 right there, as is. Bought it right there. And then right here, when it appraised for 78,000. Right? 78,000. So uh, not making this up. <laughs> this stuff is real. Um, bought it in 19 in 2019. Uh, this is about the third time I refinanced the house, but um, do we got a date on here? Um, I don't know the date. Yeah, I just started dealing with, oh, there you go, 10, 22, 10, 22. So 10, 3, 22. All right, October, 2022. All right, so what we do, how does this work? If you do the one year commitment, we do have a lifetime commitment as well. We do have that as well, but we just, we're gonna, we're gonna, for, for interest of right now, we're just gonna talk about the one year commitment. You have two coaches assisting you. We have we we have meetings on the first and third. If you need additional time, you're more than welcome to get on our schedule and schedule 30 more minutes additionally as needed. Um, you get support, attention, and documentation for implementation. That's it. 
You get support, attention for documentation, for implementation. We're got we're there to help you, coach you, push you, drive you as long as you take action. I bet if you ask anybody, anybody that have worked with us, they say, hey, they deliver that and they over deliver. Right. So you want to be a millionaire, self-made millionaire in your family. That's the only one I'm going to talk about right here. All right. If you want to be that self-made millionaire, the opportunity is here. The opportunity is here. You just got to take the actions. All right. Again, I'm an author. As you can see, I, I showed you my first book. Go back over here. That's my second book right there. I'm sorry. My second book I just wrote. And I wrote a book back in the gap uh, a couple of years ago for adolescents, uh, teaching about financial freedom, teaching them how money work, why, you, why you're supposed to use money and how you're supposed to use money, right? It's not to save, not to save, it's to work for you. So that's what this is all about. Um, I have changed the name to Five Figure Formula, but it's just a wholesaling blueprint. That's the main way we start you off with teaching you how to find great deals. That's what wholesaling is. It's not about aggravating, annoying people. It's about finding great deals. If you can find a great deal, you can make some money. Right now, you go to discount stores all the time, outlet stores, to buy it at a wholesale, a, a wholesaler cost, right? A cheaper cost than retail. That's what it is, right? If you go to the people that the wholesaling, the outlet get the, house, the, the, the products from, then you get it at a real dirt cheap price. And that's really what it's about. Um, I do have my book and audio version. Um, you can book a strategy section by clicking this, uh, one of my links, any one of my links, but go to invest in now 2021 and you can get on my schedule. And I would love to have a 15 minute conversation with you to clarify anything you need to know. My Facebook group, why wait to be great goal overachiever. I call us our goal overachiever because we don't want to ever meet the mark. We always want to overachieve. We want to do more than what you expect. And you should always be that person that your boss, your family, anyone in your, anyone you meet says, Hey, I love that person because they don't be mediocre. They don't, they don't only do just what they're supposed to do. They do a little bit more, right? So our goal is to learn, earn, and return. Um, again, investing now, 2021, real estate coaching program implements two retire controllable retirement strategies for investors of all levels in today's market. That's what we do. We believe in learn, earn, and return. And we want to help you with a method to have two controllable retirement strategies to come back income uncertainties at retirement and to avoid withdrawal penalties in case something happened. God forbid your mom or your dad gets sick and you have to pay for their medical surgery. And you have to go into your retirement to pay for that and pull your money out early because you're not 59 and a half. Now you get penalties for doing that. Then you get fees for inter your interest rate. You get taxed crazy. Why not invest now into a house with OPM, other people money. And once you get to that 59 and 60 years old, it doesn't matter. You can pull your money out and use it for that surgery. You can use it to buy you a, 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 another property, or you can use it to buy you a boat, or you can use it to buy it as you see fit, or you can use it to send your kids to college and have the tenants to pay that rent back, to pay that note back, to pay that line of credit back. This is a way to use other people's money. This is a way that you can win. I put all this out there. I'm, I'm keeping it on here so you can kind of see a little bit about who I am and what I do. Right? School teacher, coach, Driver's education teacher, certified of, uh, well, I ain't got it on here, but I did go to school for to get my master's in education leadership. So I'm a certified principal, as well as I'm working on another master's program right now in accounting, finance. Well, let's say finance because I'm taking accounting class. I got the, the midterm I need to take, but in uh, finance and in marketing right now, because I want to be a great marketer. I want to help people. I want to understand what you know. And I'm getting a master's in that as well right now as we speak. So what questions you have, feel free to put your thumbs up. Uh, you stay with us the whole time. So Carlos, I think you like what was given. Um, if you have anything that you would like me to go over, I would love for my phone to go off saying that you did book a, book a call with me at Investing Now 2021. Go to their website. That'd be great. That'd be great. Do you have any questions? 
Hopefully everything was clear to the point. Sorry about my screen freezing up on me. I live in the country. <laughs> That's all I got for that. All right. All right. Thank you so much. I will try to book. Okay. Great deal. Book a session whenever you can. And uh, we'd love to have a conversation with you. Have a good night. Thank you so much. This is live on YouTube. So you can go to YouTube if you want to relook at it. Go from there. Take care.